Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Manodestra777, and we're back inside of Destiny. Today, we're going to be going over all the Iron Banner details for January 17th to January 24th, 2017, that we currently know. I'm going to be giving you all the details, including weekly and daily bounties, weapons to look for, gear for sale, and more. If you find something in this video to be worthwhile, a like or a positive rating would be greatly appreciated. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you're looking forward to this week in Iron Banner. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe subscribe button to get the most up-to-date content in Destiny. So with that, let's get going. Iron Banner is a week-long event in which players can compete in a level advantage enabled crucible playlist for Iron Banner themed rewards. Once the Iron Banner event is live, players have until the weekly reset to compete in the playlist and earn Iron Banner reputation and rewards. Iron Banner ranks and reputation reset at the conclusion of each Iron Banner event. So for example, January 24th, 2017. Competing in Iron Banner with secondary characters will grant them bonus Iron Banner reputation until they've caught up to the reputation of the character with your highest Iron Banner rank. When Iron Banner is active, the regular Crucible weekly playlist can be found up in the director underneath the Crucible. The game type for this Iron Banner is Clash, where points are gained simply by eliminating the opponents on the other team. There is no other objective, and I know that a lot of you have been looking forward to this game type because a lot of people in Crucible just like to go and slay. For those of you who are familiar with the Tempered buff from Year 2 and Year 1, they have retired this. They no longer use this system. To get weapons, armor, and gear, there are a number of ways you can do that. You can purchase weapons and armor from Ephrodite in the Iron Temple using legendary marks once you reach a certain Iron Banner reputation. Rank 3 is traditionally armor, rank 4 is heavy or the special weapon, and rank 5 is the primary weapon of the week. You can also earn gear by completing matches in the Iron Banner specific to the weapons and armor that are available that week in the Iron Banner. Just as a reminder, the daily bounties and the rank 3 and 5 Iron Banner packages from year 1 and 2 have been retired. Instead, Bungie is focusing on the weekly bounties and the in-game drops for the loot for Iron Banner. There are four weekly bounties that will net you random Iron Banner armor and weapons, Iron Banner reputation, and legendary marks. The first weekly bounty is called Iron Support, where you earn 100 points supporting your teammates in the Iron Banner. Assisted kills will net you a point. Avenger kills will get you three points. Allies defended will get you five points. And that'll get you Iron Banner standing, legendary marks, legendary gear, and experience. After that, we have the Iron Marathon, where you earn 100 points by playing Iron Banner. If you complete a match, you get 5 points. If you win a match, you get 10 points. For that, you'll get Iron Banner Standing, Legendary Marks, as well as the Legendary Weapon. The next one is Iron Arsenal. Earn 100 points with weapon kills at the Iron Banner. A primary kill will get you 1 point, a special weapon kill will get you 2 points, and a heavy weapon kill will get you 5 points. Again, that'll net you Iron Banner standing, legendary marks, and a legendary weapon. The final weekly bounty is called Iron Light, where you earn 100 points with ability kills at the Iron Banner. Grenade kills will net you 2 points, a melee kill will get you 3 points, and a super kill will get you 5 points. Note that the melee kill is not if you just melee a character, you actually have to use the ability um, in your tree to get a kill. Iron Banner reputation gains can only be earned by winning matches in the playlist and turning in Iron Banner bounties through Lady Ephrodite in the Iron Temple. Iron Banner rank resets at the end of every Iron Banner event. There are several ways that players can increase the amount of Iron Banner reputation earned. Uh, you can get your Iron Medallions. Say, for example, if you take a loss, players are given an Iron Medallion. Each character can hold up to five medallions in their inventory at a time. Medallions will then be held in a character's inventory and will be redeemed for additional reputation once you get a win in Iron Banner. Alternate characters have the ability when they compete in Iron Banner to gain additional reputation gains. These increased reputation gains will be earned once the first character has reached rank 2 and the alternate character has reached rank 1. So essentially, if you have your Titan and you reach rank 3 with your Titan and you decide to play on your Hunter for some reason, your Hunter will have increased gains until they reach rank 3 Iron Banner. The armor pieces that you can get this week are chest armors and glove armors, aka gauntlets. For chest pieces, you're looking for any type of a bonus to the type of subclass that you enjoy using on your character, and then the type of bonuses of increased ammunition types that you enjoy using. 
For example, if you enjoy using a Striker Titan and you are looking for a new chess piece and you look to shotgun a lot, see the current Crucible meta, you are looking for increased armor when using an arc subclass and increased shotgun ammo on your chest piece. Take a look at each drop that you get carefully unless if you're just looking for infusion fuel. For gauntlets, you're looking for increased reload speed for the weapons that you use most, mainly like pulse rifles, hand cannons, and shotguns in the current meta. I personally also look for enhanced melee attack speed so that I can be sure to win any close range fight that I may get into or chain it together with a shotgun. Two weapons that you can get this week are the Binding Blaze Sidearm as well as the Titanium Orchid Rocket Launcher. For the Binding Blaze, you're looking for any kind of a roll that is going to give you increased range of any type with Range Finder or anything else like that, and possibly increased reload speeds on the sidearms. For the Rocket Launchers, I try to look for grenades and horseshoes at all times because this is a very high velocity rocket launcher. It doesn't have any issues getting to the target quickly. Um, I also look for Field Scouts so I can get increased ammunition. For character classes and subclasses to use, really every single one is going to be pretty strong in its own way. If you're going to be a Defender Titan, I would highly encourage you to turn on the Memory of Felwinter Iron Lord artifact so you can get an additional grenade and melee charge and a minor stat boost that will help you in case if you're shotgunning. Turn on no backup plans and you'll be good to go there. Sunbreakers, and if you are using a Striker Titan, I love Twilight Garrison uh, because it just allows you to be very, very mobile, especially if you are on the fly. Uh, Warlock, Every single class will be good, except maybe, maybe Sunsingers. Um, Sunsingers aren't going to be super powerful because Radiance, is, in terms of their super, aren't going to be very strong. However, their melees and fusion grenades are going to be very, very solid. Storm Trance and the melee is obviously broken. A lot of people know about that. So if you're going to use a Storm Caller, that's a wise choice to move, uh, move to get a lot of kills that way. And Void Walker is always a strong class to move. And Hunters, it's the same way. Every single class has something good to add add to the game type, especially if you want to use a lot of smoke grenades and things like that. I think that pretty much it's just play with your style of play as much as you can and work with the team as much as possible. Solo queuing here, at least in Clash, is a little bit less annoying than it was going into Rift. And with that, Guardians, we're going to bring the video to a close. I hope that something in this video has been great or helpful for you. I am going to be bringing you a recommendation video once Lady Ephrodite actually gets into the Iron Temple. I'll give you some ideas on things to look for there and what roles are good and what are not. Hopefully this video has given you a little bit of a guide, but again, if you like something in this video, a like is greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more Destiny content. Check out my Twitch live streams. I'll be running some Iron Banner with you guys. Just stop on into chat. Don't send me a private message because I get a lot of people sending me messages now. Come to the chat, actually say hi. Let me know that you're in there because if I'm juggling two or three different message types, that could be very, very difficult. But I thank you guys so much. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. It is absolutely insane how much you guys have been supporting the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. And I will see you next time in the universe of Destiny.